Happy New Year's Eve, everyone, and welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'm going to review on the Double Clutch Daily and Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet 2-pack that was released around early to mid-2021. And obviously, Double Clutch Daily here is a new for 2021 release. Um, Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet is a re-release um, that was released for 2019, but Double Clutch Daily here is the uh, reason that you want to buy this 2-pack. Is a brand new release. Now, uh, we can take a look at the card out there. There's a little clutch daily. It's a pretty cool card art of him. Um, actually, a pretty cool expression. His stance there is pretty nice. But the flag, first of all, kind of looks like it's levitating between his forks there. And also look at the size of that flag. That flag is bigger than he is. <laughs> it's a humongous flag. Um, and I say there's a nice picture of Dirt Track Fabulous. Or just uh, Doc there, I guess. It doesn't have the uh, dirt on him like uh, he does on the die cast, just Doc there, so very, very nice <clears throat> card art, classic card art of him, and a nice card art there of Double Clutch Daily. Um, one complaint I do have about this two-pack, not really a complaint, but um, this two-pack would have been great if Mattel would have included, instead of Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet, if they had included another new a legend racer or an official, like one of those ambulances, that would have been pretty cool if they included an ambulance that we saw when Doc crashed, or maybe even a fan in the stands, or a reporter. Uh, anyone new other than, you know, Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet. That would have been a great two-pack, Double Clutch Daily, and another new character, but whatever. You got Doc. Still a nice release to get, nonetheless. Um, on the back, you've got some other two-packs. Obviously, another Legend Racer two-pack right there. The Laura Spinwell two-pack right there. Um, the second Laura Spinwell two-pack. Uh, the first one was the with Ray Reverham. Hit and run right there. And then some Piston Cup two-packs that the matchings are kind of weird, like... I don't understand putting Speedy Comet and Parker Brakeston together. Nor do I understand putting Ryan inside Laney and uh, Eric Breaker together. It's kind of strange, kind of interesting, weird. Like I, I don't understand where they got the um, combinations from. Like I don't know, putting maybe Blinker and Ryan inside or Speedy Comet and Ryan inside Lane together. That'd been pretty cool. Like kind of next gen and old gen two pack. But anyways, enough talking. Let's get this uh, two cars out of the package here. And we'll go over Doc here quickly, and then we'll take a look at the new release, Double Clutch Daily. So, here is Doc, and here is Double Clutch Daily. Um, we'll take a look at him momentarily, but here is Doc Hudson. Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet, as he's called in the uh, packaging. Um, a re-release. Um, but, uh... Nice re-release nonetheless. I'm pretty sure one of the main differences between the original release. Actually, the, the Dirt Track Racer, like, uh, text on the tire seems kind of new to me. Um, compared to the other releases of the Fabulous Hudson Horn that we've gotten. But I'm not sure. Man. I could be mistaken there. Obviously, I think I've even done a review on the uh, Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Horn. If not, I've definitely shown it before on this channel. Um, so we'll go over it quickly here. Obviously, just a fabulous Hudson Hornet with some dirt around the uh, wheels. All four wheel wells have dirt around them. Interesting that the dirt just stuck to that part of the of him, not all along the bottom here or all along the sides, just the wheel wells, but whatever. Um, obviously, it would make more sense for the dirt to go all along the side here and all along the side here instead of just being along the wheel wells, but <clears throat> whatever. Still... Still nice detailing there, nonetheless, and the uh, text on the wheels is really cool as well. Um, and obviously, you've got the Twin H Power there, Hudson Hornet, number 51, all that good stuff on a classic, classic die cast. Um, yeah, just a, a classic release, and still getting made all these years later, this time in Thailand. So that's the Dirt Track Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Let's take a look at the uh, main piece of this two-pack here double clutch daily obviously he is the flag waver in the legend racing series or whatever the not legend racing the piston cup um back in the day um he was took on the role of uh christoph stopsky i guess back in the day um he was the flag waver for the events and later on in the movie actually a forklift that looks remarkably similar to this and might actually be double clutch daily uh was seen in the cotter pin serving drinks so you know just like a sweet tea here got a job as a singer um in the in Cotter in the Cotter pin maybe double clutch got a job as a uh, 
waiter or something at the uh, cotter pin. So I'll put up a picture of that. And you can make your own decision if it's double clutch or not, but um, could be him. So obviously you can't even see his mouth because of the way the forks are kind of positioned. They cover his mouth completely. You can kind of see it back there. Kind of, you can see kind of molded right there, but you can't really see his mouth. All you can see is his eyes right there. Um, so almost dropped him there. So you can see his eyes, brown eyes, and um, white eyelids, which is kind of interesting. Rarely see that. Um, obviously, here's his flag. It's pretty, pretty big, honestly. Um, not as big as the one in the Carter. That I mean, that's just that's a huge flag. In the Carter. That that honestly, that flag is honestly, honestly bigger than him. You could probably wrap him up in there, but obviously not as big on the die cast. Uh, proportional wise, at least not that big, but still a pretty big flag. Um, kind of folded over kind of like it's, he's waving it in the wind so that's pretty cool and it is a checkered flag although i believe he was also seen waving a red flag when doc crashed so if mattel would really want to they could probably make a variation of double clutch daily with a red flag but they made him with the checkered flags i believe that's, that's what he was seen with most of the time was with the checkered flag um and you can see his forks are kind of tilted backwards normally obviously they're to just be pointed forwards here they're tilted backwards a little bit or towards him a bit um so he's kind of waving it forwards i guess <clears throat> and the forks together are, are, themselves are pretty close together to hold the flag in place there all the for flag on the die cast is just molded into the forks um obviously he's got a blue cap and a blue uh, body here he's got <laughs> these very teeny tiny fenders around his wheels that's actually pretty cool. Um, those little fenders are pretty cool there. He's got like a vent on the back here. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And he's got like some oil cans or whatever that is. Like a generator or something. Good. Kind of looks like a big water can, honestly. Or water bottle there on the back on his trunk. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it is there. Kind of looks like a water bottle. Big water bottle to me. Um... And then, obviously, the side the same. You got the fenders there. And his um, head right here isn't really a white color. It's more of a dark, dark gray. Um, not a dark, dark gray. A dark, lightish, dark blue, I guess, is a good way of putting it. Like a, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird color, but it's, it's there. Um, not quite white. Um, and there is the base. So actually, these were made four weeks apart. N48A for dock and N52A for double clutch. Um, but let's compare double clutch here to some other pitties. Obviously, I already showed Sweet T here. Um, another pity of that time. Obviously, they'd both be from around the same time. From the same time. Probably built around the same time. Just the Sweet T is quite a bit different than double clutch here. Um, another... Pity that I would assume is from that time is Robert Jim Jones, obviously a member of the Cotter Pin Band. You can see how most pitties would not have the wheel or the fenders around them. They just kind of the wheels would just kind of be there inside the body. Um, double clutch has the fenders. Um, so he, if you take the forks away, it's kind of like a little pickup there with the fenders. So that's pretty cool. Um, the fenders on double clutch are actually a really cool addition to him. That makes him stand out from all the other pitties. Um, so that's Robert James Jones. Uh, here is a just a standard pistol cup pity. Um, obviously, it's kind of the base model for all pities is kind of this long, uh, tall pity in the pistol cup series. Um, obviously, you also have the like the short pity and the wide pity, but most pities are kind of somewhat resemble this model with like tall, tall like um, head here and like a little trunk here um here is a couple planes pities actually here's sparky from planes or yeah i think this is from planes maybe I, like depending on the release it could be a planes release or a planes fire and rescue release but it looks the same anyway so but he's, he's quite a bit bigger than double clutch and here's another pity um from planes dotty um quite a bit bigger as well than double clutch daily but still um, kind of two different pities um, that aren't they're pretty unique so um here let's like let's put up a picture of where double clutch appeared in the movie i'll put up the picture of 
where he appeared in the racing scenes as well as in the cotter pin cotter pin scene that you know you can make your own decision if that's double clutch daily or not i personally think it is um and you can take a look at it and decide for yourself but uh that will do it for my review on the double clutch daily and doc hudson uh dirt track fabulous hudson hornet two pack i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, hit that like button subscribe share comment all that good stuff have a happy new year's eve and i will see you all in the next video goodbye